Welcome to W News Sports. Eddie Hearn has made public what was stated during Anthony Joshua's initial encounter with him after his second defeat to Oleksandr Yusik. Joshua was visibly upset. While the British promoter attempted to calm him down in the locker room, the Watford star yelled at Hearn. Leave me alone. As we continue please do not forget to like, comment and subscribe to our channel for more sports news. A normally modest and courteous AJ threw down the WBA, Super, and Ring magazine titles before scurrying out of the ring, visibly shaken and distraught by the loss. The two-time heavyweight champion paused as he approached the tunnel before making his way back into the ring to make an emotional address. Joshua continued by praising Yusik, but he still didn't seem like himself as he rambled crazily on the mic. He claimed that there was a sensation that he didn't want to talk. He was really irritated when we returned to the dressing room. When I really walked over to talk to him, he was telling everyone to leave me alone. I said, no, I won't abandon you. You boxed well, I've got to tell you that. No, I f didn't box well, I lost, he said. No, you boxed well, I said. You didn't box well in the first bout, and I've told you that. However, I knew you were going to win this battle after the first nine rounds. Yusik was incredible in rounds 10, 11, and 12, and the superior man ultimately prevailed, but Joshua outlasted him. Joshua apologized for his post-fight meltdown when he finally collected himself and showed up for his post-fight news conference. Hearn said that it took two hours before the news conference began. Having to attend news conferences and talk after a bout is one of the toughest things for fighters. Imagine having a fight on the street with all the emotions and the adrenaline that brings, and then all of a sudden you've got to go and talk to someone coherently and give your opinions, while the whole world are ready to give their opinions on. What you're saying, I didn't want him to do a press conference, and I didn't want him to do one after the Andy Ruiz loss because he was concussed, but he's always insistent on doing it. So that two hours was good for him to mellow down and clear his mind a little bit. It was complete frustration from doing all the right things, trying as hard as he could and still not being good enough to win. That was hard for him to accept. Thank you for listening.